Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amona Project. We are here at the Amona Project, are continuing in our series of uh, videos with respect to education, information, inspiration, guidance, advice. And in a previous video, I, uh, I commented on the biblical commandment to remember that we were slaves uh, in Egypt, um, along with the, the remember that, uh, remember, let's see, it's Mitzrayim, the exodus from Egypt. There are these constant remembrances we're supposed to have. Uh, remember the giving of the Torah, remember the Sabbath, uh, remember uh, Amalek. Um, and one of them is, remember what God did to Miriam. And the verse is Deuteronomy 24, 9. Remember what uh, the Lord your God did to Miriam on the way as he came forth from Egypt. Now, the Torah itself doesn't specify what it was, but we know from Chazal that um, what the Creator did was to punish Miriam for Lush and Hora, for speaking ill against Moses. And it's Rashi that comments that uh, this, this passage, Miriam's punishment, serves as a model to others to admonish them uh, not to speak Lush and Hora, not, not to speak uh, malicious gossip uh, against uh, people, because we will be punished with tsaras, with uh, what's badly called leprosy, badly translated as leprosy, just as Miriam. That's the warning that Rashi uh, gives. However, when we go to um, Yonasan ben Uziel, the Targum Yonasan, he um, puts a, a slightly different interpretation. Um, not to be unduly suspicious of people. Now, while the punishment was for Lush and Hora, uh, the Targum Yonasan, uh, Yonasan ben Uziel, says it began with her being unduly and unnecessarily and wrongfully suspicious of Moses and, and, uh, and his behavior. Um, that was what gave rise to the slander and uh, the Lush and Hora. It began earlier with a spurious suspicion. Um, so, according to Targum Yonason, included in the prohibition not only to say, not to say Lashon Hara, and, if you, and not to listen to it, and if you listen to it and not believe it, Yonason ben Uziel says, we are prohibited even to suspect someone of wrongdoing. Judge people favorably. Give them the benefit of doubt. Don't immediately jump to conclusions that uh, uh, the person's up to some monkey business or they have some sort of uh, nefarious intent or they're being sloppy with their observance. Judge people favorably. Don't start off with this malicious and unfounded suspicion because that will prompt you. That will necessarily lead to evil speech, Lashon Hara. Um, this suspicion is, according to Targum Yonasan, it's a component of Lashon Hara. Um, when we incorrectly suspect someone, uh, this uh, suspicion grows in our minds and uh, we share our feelings with others and that sharing is, of course, uh, Lashon Hara. Um, if, we are, if we were to view people in a positive light, Give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, this path towards slander and malicious speech uh, and, uh, and hatred would have, uh, it would have no place to begin. It would never even get off the ground. So, uh, in our efforts to guard our tongues, um, let us also try to guard our minds. Don't be suspicious of people. Don't start off with the presumption that they're doing something uh, incorrect, improper. Judge people favorably. If it's possible to give someone the benefit of the doubt, that's what you start off with. You don't presume the person is, is doing something wrong. You presume he's doing something right. Presumption of innocence we have in our law. The court starts off with a presumption that the person didn't do it. And it's up to the prosecution to prove that 
the person did it. Same thing with us. Start off with the presumption that the person uh, is doing well, he's doing fine. And what looks like something is uh, amiss, there's got to be a good reason for it. You may not know what the reason is, judge people favorably. That closes the door and that lets that temptation, that horribly strong temptation for malicious speech, stops it dead in its tracks. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.